One of the great things about blocking in is, is it's pretty non-committal, so you can kind of experiment a little bit. And one of the things I'm looking at here is this shadow area and the highlights and playing with the idea of making the shadows complementary opposite to the highlights. You know, if it doesn't work out, I'll paint over it because it's only in the roughing in stage. But this is where I get to kind of tease ideas out and experiment a little bit. So I'm still roughing in, but I'm just blocking in some of that lovely yellow there. And suggesting that those shadows or those highlights are heading back off into there like that. So rolling your brush through this area like this, and again, it's just roughing in so you can experiment, but rolling your brush through this area here like that gives that lovely disturbed whitewash kind of look. Just remember to follow the lines that the surface of the water is making. I want that to go up a little bit there. If you ever notice when there's a really big swell, it'll stir up all the sand underneath the wave. So it's kind of a nice little extra piece of information to throw into a painting to kind of create the impression of a bit of swell and some turbulence in the water. It's just another layer of interest. So I hope some of those tips were useful. Go and paint stuff.